Hey everybody, it's your boy Wayne. Thanks for tuning in for another weekly update on the wheel strategy. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Amazon, I have finally reached profitability status in the form of premium. Take a look here in the upper right hand corner. I currently have netted $62. The last transaction, I sold a cash secured put on the 18th of April, strike price of 95. Now this expires next week. The premiums were rather elevated because earnings is next week. Truth be told, I do not think that Amazon's going to dip below 100. You can see right now they did pretty well for the week, up about 4%, currently trading at $107.05. Again, I could be wrong, I've been wrong before, but I think that Amazon is not going to go lower, which means this contract's going to expire pretty much worthless, which means I will have my $62, I'll have my $9,500 as collateral, and expect for me to look at other stocks to run the wheel on. Let's go ahead and get into SoFi, and I love SoFi. It's been so easy, almost too easy. As you guys know, I purchased 100 shares back in March, 574 per share, and every week since, I have chosen a strike price of $6, which means I would have an immediate $26 in capital appreciation, not to mention all the premiums that I'm writing or I'm, I'm receiving every week. Uh, the last transaction, I wrote a, a covered call on the 21st. Let's go back one more though. You'll see last week, I had a strike price of $6, open premium for $10. You guys are seeing a very similar pad and I'm buying to close this for a dollar or two. So I've netted $8 eh, about every week or so, keeping it open for an average of seven days. So today, after that contract, I was able to buy to close. I opened up a new one. Again, $6 strike price, expires next Friday. I earned $13. Now again, earnings is coming up in two weeks, so I expect those premiums to be rather elevated. Once again, with SoFi, not too bad for the week. They're up nearly 1%. We'll see if that momentum continues into earnings. I'd be okay with those shares being called away. Let's go back to my darling Celsius. Oh, Celsius, how you've been so good to me. Uh, I've written a total of, what, 16 contracts since I was assigned this uh, 100 shares at $93 per. So I've got $9,300 tied up in Celsius to date. I have earned $1,775, uh, but admittedly the share price has gone down. Uh, and so I haven't been seen uh, as much in the form of significant premium. Hence my strike price being exactly at my cost basis. Now, truth be told, I do want these 100 shares to be called away from me. That would give me an opportunity to not only have my cash, which again is $9,300, I could essentially jump back into Celsius, hopefully being able to be assigned at a lower strike price than what I'm currently at. Let's go ahead and give you a quick look at my last transaction. Yesterday, I wrote a covered call, strike price being 93, this expires next Friday, and I received $75. So again, we're seeing some better premium than we have in the last few weeks. Remember, the lowest premium that I've ever received was this $20 here the week of April 11th. So I'm hoping that these shares will be called away, but if it doesn't, I will simply rinse and repeat. If we look at Celsius, they did pretty good for the week as well. They're up nearly 4%. So uh, we'll see if that means that the uh, share price continues to go up and those shares would be called away. If we go ahead and take a look at the total for Celsius, Amazon, and SoFi, I am at $1,886. Uh, again, you guys will see on my spreadsheet, I am keeping track of these three wheel stocks separately from my uh, other covered calls and cash secure puts. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. That was a quick one, wouldn't you say? If you like what you're seeing, if you like what you're hearing, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for tuning in.